Hey everybody, JP Alexander for the Rabbit Dogs Unleashed. It is Wednesday, December 29th, 2021. Almost the end of 2021, 2022, rolling in any day now. Uh, I want to talk about uh, West Side Story, the new West Side Story. I haven't seen it. I have no plans to see it. And it's not because of any other reason, any reason other than I don't like musicals. And the first one, I didn't like. I didn't care for the... I remember when I first saw the first one with my parents. My parents, they loved it. It was released before I was born 1961, I believe. I was born nineteen and late 1965, I was born. Uh, so uh, I was not born yet, but my parents saw it. Uh, I don't think they... I think they went to see... The, uh, the first movie they saw together was... Their first date, I think, was Dr. Do- 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 no in 1962. So, but they had seen it separately, and they both loved it. And they probably saw it uh, together, too. And they, they loved the film. And I remember when I was younger, they told me about it. And then they we ended up watching it at home. And my father and I was, I just thought they were stupid because I don't like musicals. And uh, one guy, he did a little pillowette into the night blade. And I said to my father, Dad, he, he wouldn't have got stabbed and died if he didn't do, do that fucking stupid uh, a pillowette. My father goes, you just don't get it. I go, no, I don't understand the musicals. I can understand musicals of their life. Grease. It's kind of a fantasy world. It's kind of a joke. They just come in the middle of something and start to sing. Okay, I, I thought Grease was cute. But I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I most musicals I don't like. Uh, uh, Broadway plays I like, but the non-musical ones, you know, I know musicals are great. I don't. I don't believe so. I don't. I don't like them, and I definitely didn't like West Side Story when, when I saw it. Gangs supposed to be fighting, and they're breaking into music. Anyway, uh, I didn't. You know, I, I knew what the movie was about, I and mean, they're making a remake with more real Puerto Rican people instead of in the movie there was Natalie Wood, who's like Russian, you know, being playing. Puerto Rican because they couldn't, I guess, get real Puerto Ricans. They didn't have enough, you know. And it was not. It was a different time back then. So now they got more Hispanic people, Puerto Ricans, I assume, because that's who the sharks are supposed to be. Are the sharks and, and the jets? Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, they're supposed to be uh, Puerto Rican. And so in the film, they got more actors and actresses who are Hispanic, uh, and they speak Spanish. Spanish more throughout the movie because in the original I don't remember much Spanish. I don't believe there was much Spanish in the movie at all. So here they they, they he he decides the Steven Spielberg the director decides to keep it real and have the Spanish people obviously speaking Spanish speaking people speaking Spanish to each other. Okay, that seems realistic, and uh, he has that. But unlike most films where released in the United States, made with American money, I guess, made for the American market, uh, I assume, uh, everything would be with subtitles, obviously, so most of the people in this country could understand it, because how many people in this country really speak both Spanish and English? More than probably ever has been before, but not, you know, not a large percentage of the 300 million people in this country speak both Spanish and English. So, obviously, it would have subtitles, right? Well, no, no. And uh, let me read a little bit on this. Steven Spielberg has scenes in Spanish without subtitles. Steven Spielberg says it was done purposely out of respect. Respect? I don't understand what that has to do with respect. It seems like you're disrespecting people who don't speak Spanish because you're causing them not to understand things that are being said and to, to look like, well, what did he just say? What does that, 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 that mean? Okay. Out of respect. I don't see what that has to do with respect. Anyway, one of how that would be disrespectful. Okay. One of the most unsuspicious parts of what seems to be in the story is that unlike the original film, Spanish is spoken on screen and not just in, on, in throwaway lines. Good. I'm glad Spanish is spoken more in this one than the original. Good. That would be how it is in real life. Exactly. Though it's not as a portion of the film, non-Spanish speaker viewers may be shocked to find out that the remake doesn't include subtitles. That's on purpose. Really, Steven Spielberg, an American filmmaker who's American, who I don't know if he speaks Spanish or not, decided to make a movie 
what a large portion of it in Spanish without Spanish subtitles. Okay. During the film's press conference, which Richard and Sarah last month, it was out of respect that we didn't s subtitle any of the Spanish. Why does that have to do with respect? I don't get the word respect. I don't understand what that has to do with this subject. What does that have to do with respect? I don't understand. What does that have to do with respect? That means that's like saying uh, Quentin Tarantino saying in Glorious Bastards, I decided to have all this the German spoken in German with no subtitles, or the French spoken in French with no subtitles, out of respect for French and German uh, people. I don't think anybody would be thinking that. I don't think anybody would be thinking that's disrespectful. Okay. That language had to exist in equal proportions alongside the English with no help. What? Okay. Spielberg said it was out of respect that we didn't subtitle any of the Spanish. That language had to exist in equal proportions alongside the English with no help. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it did not. No, it does not. No. You could even put the English spoken with Spanish subtitles. That would have been fine. Why not do that? Why not have subtitles in English? English was spoken. They could have had Spanish subtitles under it. I don't think most people would have cared. And the Spanish spoken English subtitles, obviously, because it's the United States. It's released in the United States. It's for a, an audience of people from the United States. When, when this goes overseas, are you going to not have subtitles either? I think it's going to be heavily subtitled. I think I know it's, I think I would bet in France it would be the whole movie is going to be dubbed into French. You don't have to worry about that subtitles. Everybody's going to be speaking French during the whole entire film. They're not going to be speaking it, and it's going to look pretty ridiculous, but that's what the French do in a lot of their films. Okay, uh, it's a 1957 New York, New York City, which caused a rip between two warning gangs, the Caucasian Jets and the Puerto Rican Sharks. Why don't they call themselves something else other than Sharks? Isn't, is Sharks an English word, or is that the same word in Spanish? I don't know. Anytime Spanish is spoken on the screen, uh, Lieutenant Schwenk. Schwenk, Lieutenant Schwenk, who Spielberg pointed out is clearly a racist, is a Puerto Rican a race of people? I don't believe so. Can you hate Puerto Ricans and not be a racist? Or does it have to be you're a racist because you don't like, you know, if you don't like Polish, you know, individuals, are you racist? I don't think Polish is a race. I don't think Puerto Ricans are race. Anyway, uh, he's clearly a, a racist, this Lieutenant Schwenk. Uh, sound German. Those fucking German races. <laughs> oh. Uh, tells anybody converting in Spanish, conversation in Spanish, in the film to speak in English. Well, yeah. They're in New York. Yeah. Well, does that mean he's racist? I don't know. I can imagine some people saying when two Spanish people are talking in front of English speakers and they're talking about something that might pertain to them. To, you know, sp speak English so we can all understand. I don't think that's racist. I don't know. I remember in the movie uh, Ricky Christina Barcelona with uh, Javier Baldam and uh, Scott Johansson and uh, uh, what is her name? Uh, Pe Penelope Cruz. Whenever Penelope Cruz is speaking Spanish to Javier Bardem in front of Scott Johansson, Javier Bardem goes, English, English, because he wants J Spanish jo J Scott Johansson to understand because her Spanish isn't that good. I don't see that as being racist, but okay. He's in the minds of the audience to decide that they're going to be more attention because you could tell pretty much what they're saying. Really? Really? Two people... Talking to each other in Spanish, you could pretty much understand what they're saying. Maybe the the gist of what they're saying, based on the the uh, maybe their body language or what the scene is about. But I don't think most people who don't know Spanish would just understand Spanish. That's insulting. That's saying Spanish is such an easy language that we all know what they're saying anyway. It's like Pig Latin, you know. It's, it's like another form of English, really. That's what. It sounds like he's saying to me right there. Um, no, executive producer Rita 
<laughs> Momano, who was in the original, who I love movie Momano, who won an Oscar for performance in, as Anita in the 1961 I'm sorry, said a press conference of the, the decision. Well, I guess she would say that because she understands both languages fluently. So for her to say, well, yeah, you can understand what they're saying because, you know, to her it's easy. I don't think to many other people will be easy. Probably easier for me, let's say, I, I lived in, even though it's not the same language, it's similar because it's Latin, but that's about it. Maybe I'll pick up some more words because I lived in Brazil and, and they speak uh, Portuguese and I've been to a few Latin American countries where they speak English, I mean Spanish, excuse me, and I, I've heard it, you know, probably more than the average, you know, American has. So I'll probably, you know, maybe understand a little bit more than the average person, but I don't think the average person would just know what they're saying. Suggested, if you're taking a Spanish course or two, if you're taking a Spanish course or two, you're fucking rambling. You're, you're going on. There's not much you can't figure out with context clues. I think it's a different language. It's a fucking completely different language. I don't think that, that you could say that. I don't believe that. You could say it, but I don't think you really mean it. I don't think you really be believe that. I think you just want to be okay with Steven Spielberg's fucking moronic decision. Where not speaking to me, we may miss out on a joke. I think it's more than just a joke. So I wouldn't mind what happened, though. That happened, though. If anything, hopefully it creates a courtesy for those seek out what is being said. I would like to know what they were saying. Yeah, I'm going to seek it out. <sighs> Yeah, I, uh, am I going to go take a Spanish class to figure out what to say? Probably most people are not. They're probably just going to go do the movie going, shit. And probably a lot of people are not going to go see the movie just because of this. Maybe you might get a lot of people who wanted to see the movie a lot, who really wanted to see the movie, who really feel good about, you know, uh, Hispanic people in these roles and Spanish is being spoken. They, they're all good with it. They just are not happy with the decision to not put subtitles because... You know, how many movies do I, I... A lot of people don't like subtitles. I'm not one of those people. I can w read subtitles of a whole movie. I have no problem. I lived overseas. I could read... I could watch movies with no sub... And still think it's a great movie. Fantastic film. I, I could watch... I've seen many films that I think were fantastic movies that had to read subtitles the whole film. I have no problem with that. But this has got no subtitles. Um... English-speaking audiences, okay, to sit in the theater together so English-speaking audiences will suddenly hear laughter coming from pockets of the theater from the Spanish-speaking audience. Those people are laughing, and I'm not. I, you know, I, 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 talk about creating, a, I mean, a divide again, huh? I, I, you gotta divide us. You gotta divide us, I guess, right? To Spielberg's point, screenwriter Tony... Uh, 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 I'm going to Kushner... Added at the conference, we're a bilingual country. No, we are not a bilingual country. We're not a trilingual country. We're an English-speaking country. And people coming over from Lithuania and Russia and Italy and Denmark, they're learning English. So it's we're not saying to them, hey, learn English in Spanish. We're not. So English is not, uh, America is not, the United States is not a bilingual country. Okay. We're an English-speaking country where a lot of people from other countries are coming over. Just that most of the people who are coming over, a large percentage of them speak Spanish. That's really what is happening. It's not a bilingual country. We sure are, said Spielberg, again trying to prove his point. How much does he speak um, in Spanish? Does he speak full Spanish? How many interviews are going to be going to find of him speaking Spanish? Okay. While that choice may anger or confuse some monolingual speakers, probably the, the same fucking idiot writing this, you know, article. He's calling me a monolingual speaker viewers. The movie is brilliant when considering the film's context. Uh, okay, you think the movie's brilliant. Okay, okay, considering the film's context. Whatever. Let us well. Uh, Let's watch it and decide for ourselves. Do I? What side story put a week into consistently told to speak English? Because they're in New York. Because they're in New York. Because they're in New York. If you're in San Juan yelling in English, I bet people would say, speak Spanish. That's just common sense. I think that's, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, 
because the cops and jets refuse to take the time to understand them. Yeah, you take the time. How much time is it going to take you to understand language you have nothing? 1957, New York City. The cops and the jets don't take the time to some dumb fucking, probably Italian and Irish kids from the fucking, I mean, a lot of them maybe don't understand Italian. Maybe they'll be like, I'm catching a few words, but I speak Italian and English. And guess what? I speak better English than Italian because I live in America. I think that, you know, I, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I, 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 I'm trying to understand. I can't even understand what I'm saying because it's such fucking, mo- it's such an asinine Way to talk about it, uh, this film. It's just really out of a. Resp- I don't understand where the word respect comes in. I don't get this. What well, says in theaters on Friday? You could read a review here. Puppy says it's fantastic. Making his creative choice. Creative choice. Spielberg is challenging his audience to in- instead speak Spanish and no longer be ignorant of a culture that represents 19% of the United States. Population uh, 62.1 million. Ignorant of the culture. That's different. Then speaking a second language fluently. That's different than speaking a second language fluently. Most of us are not like Larry or Baldwin. We don't speak a second language fluently because we love the culture so much. Uh, I lived in six foreign con- I mean, countries. And five of those six spoke a different language than English. And one I didn't have to uh, really... <laughs> One, I didn't have to really learn much of their language. I learned like five words. Their language is fucking very tough. And also, uh, there was three reasons I didn't learn their language. It was Icelandic. Uh, so I could just tell you that before I tell you the three reasons. One was, it's fucking very hard. Very uh, uh, difficult. Uh, most of the words I can't even begin to pronounce. My tongue the, the, w- wouldn't move that way. My mouth would not go that way. I hear things and it amazes me how the people could say that. Because I can't even form that word. That's one. It would be too hard, hard to, you know, it's a very difficult language. It's not Spanish. It's not French. It's not Portuguese or Italian. It's fucking tough. Even Norwegians. Where the, uh, which Icelandic was the original Norse language, even Norwegians don't understand them anymore because their language evolved. And Icelandic hasn't evolved since 872, when, whenever I, uh, the Norwegians came over to Iceland. It's stuck in that time uh, period, and, you know, one of the oldest languages spoken. Yeah, it never evolved, and uh, it, it's a crazy language, very difficult. That's one. Two. Once I learned to, to speak it, I would never speak. I have never, since I left Iceland uh, two and a half years ago, I lived there for three years, I have never even heard it again, ever. I've never heard anybody say it, speak it in the United States, ever. Uh, if you meet, you know, an Icelandic person in the United States, you know, chances are they speak English, which brings me to the third reason I never learned Icelandic. Most Icelandics speak fluent English. Very fluent English. Not even a question if they speak English. You go to bars, most of the tourists are Americans. Uh, if not Americans, they speak English, and they speak English in bars. Because all the bartenders, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak Icelandic. Do you speak English? And they go, of course. They act like you're insulting them by even asking them if they speak English. So Icelandic, I didn't have to even learn, which is good. I learned five words. Uh, Skol, uh, which is uh, uh, cheers. Skala, no, skol. Skala, actually, sorry. Skol is Danish. Skala uh, is Icelandic. Uh, uh, guten dagen. Guten, guten dagen. Good day. And tak fyrir. Thank you very much. Tak fyrir. Those are the only five words I learned. And I, that's about it. That's really all I had to really know. <laughs> and communicating was not a problem. The other four five, four countries. I lived in the Fiji Islands, which English is one of their languages. They were a a British colony for many years, and everybody speaks English there. So, uh, yeah, four of the countries I had to 
learn enough of their language to get by. And I did. I did. I lived in France. I learned enough to get by. And I lived in Brazil. I learned enough I mean, Portuguese to get by. When I lived in, in Serbia, I did learn some Serbian. But even though the Serbians actually spoke English and wanted to. So I actually spoke a lot of English there. Uh, and uh, 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 West Africa, the Mauritania, which uh, I had to use my French. But a lot of people there... Didn't even speak French. French was a native, was a language of theirs. So was Arabic. Arabic is very hard. I'm not going to learn that. But French, I already knew when I went there. But a lot of people don't even speak either of those languages. They speak, I don't know, is it Berber? Berber? It's like 10 other languages. It's really a very multicultured, you know, uh, different country. I can't tell you that much. Uh, so yeah, I had to, you know, so those countries I lived in, I learned enough of the language to get by and that's no problem. That's, I know I'm in their country. I know a lot of times I met people and I couldn't really communicate with them that well. And I, I put it on me. It's my fault. Same thing should be going on here. Spielberg does this because he feels I'm an old guy. I'm not woke enough. I got to get woke. So I'm going to do this. Just to seem woke. I don't... He think he's making up shit. Because... I don't think anybody's crying for this. There's... You know, Hispanic people saying, Hey, I really don't think it's cool for him, you know, to use... I, I fucking... Him putting English is really putting... Giving English the power over the Spanish. I don't think they're saying that. I don't think they're saying that at all. Let's say another case in point. Let me give a uh, example. Okay, a lot of Polish people are moving to Iceland for work. And Iceland has a big Polish population. Not, not humongous, out of 300,000 people, I'm not going to say a large percentage of Polish, but probably the biggest immigrant population in Iceland is Polish, who are coming there to find work. And many of the Polish don't learn Icelandic. They learn English, because they probably know a little bit of English already, and the Icelandics, most of them speak fluent English. So the Polish are working on their English. And some are working on their Icelandic too. Just out of respect for, you know, the people. Because they're going to live in Iceland. And they're going to make their, you know, have their families in Iceland. They're going to raise their kids Polish, Icelandic. Uh, fine. That's all great. But most of them are learning English too. Most of them I spoke to. Didn't even speak that much Icelandic and spoke more English, and they got along fine there. Okay, so my point being is, if a, po a an Icelandic filmmaker felt bad about the plight of the Polish people in Iceland and made a movie about Polish people in Iceland having fights with the Icelandics or what have you, kind of like West Side Story, uh, and they made the movie in Polish and Icelandic, right? Fine. I fucking doubt, no, 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 I don't doubt it, I know for a fact, there would be Icelandic subtitles when Polish was being spoken, and nobody would fucking say, well, I don't want to give Icelandic power over, uh, uh, po I mean, Polish, no one would even think, I can't even, I can imagine other filmmakers in other countries going, you know, I respect Steven Spielberg, but what the fuck are you doing, dude, that is just, you know, and now with the, the dismal, Box office, I've heard about this film. I could see them putting the English subtitles in there and, and then Spielberg saying, well, I didn't agree to that. Spielberg, would you stop trying to be woke, okay? Fucking asshole. I call you an asshole. I respect you. You're a great filmmaker. But Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? You an asshole? I mean, you're making up shit. You're making up shit. Out of respect. I don't think it has anything to do with respect. You're disrespecting Americans. That's what you're fucking doing. To make a point, to try to get, you're gonna get huge box office. You might get every every uh, Hispanic person in the United States who speaks Spanish. Well, Hispanic person, every Hispanic person in the United States speaks Spanish. So you're gonna get all them maybe to watch the movie. Maybe, maybe like me, a lot of them don't like musicals. Maybe you're not gonna get them. So you're gonna get the Hispanic uh, population who loves musicals. To see this movie, that that's huge box office. You you, you guys are gonna you're gonna be uh, you waking in the box. 
I know Hollywood's all about the almighty dollar, so uh, they're, they're going to make a, a, a change and they're going to put subtitles in this film. And one corner, I don't get why you don't. I don't even get, I can't even imagine why you would think that. Is it just, you say, how can I be really woke, more woke than the next person? Let me bring up things that aren't even woke and say they're woke. Make up shit. I'm not putting subtitles because I don't want to put English, I don't want to make English more powerful than Spanish. I don't think that's making English more powerful than Spanish. I think it's just making it so the American people who speak the native tongue of the country can go watch the movie. Again, that's like Tarantino keeping in glorious bastard with no subtitles and saying, hey, you should, you sh I don't want to put English more powerful than uh, French, German, or Italian, which all the three languages are spoken in this movie. I don't want to give English the power over any of those languages. Can you imagine? Uh, to me, I can't imagine someone saying that. So I can't imagine someone saying this. Um, I, I was shocked when I first heard it a few weeks ago, and, and I, I forgot about it until I read this article just now. And I'm, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted that this decision was made. And I guess Steven Spielberg has that much power where he can get uh, the movie, uh, the, the, the movie studio to okay it, because that would just seem like a kiss of death to me. And uh, looking at the ten million dollar uh, box office. Uh, after this first weekend, I could see. I'm not sure how the box office is now, but uh, I, I don't think it's going to do that fantastic. And I think one of the reasons is this. I mean, uh, again, I know a lot of people who want to see this movie. But without English subtitles, they might second guess it and say, I'm not going to see a movie where I can't understand a good, big, large portion of it. And I'm not going to just learn Spanish overnight. I'm not just going to take a couple of Spanish classes out of the blue. I have a job. I, I don't have time for this shit. And America is not a bilingual country, okay? A lot of people are coming here from other countries that don't speak Spanish. How about them? Do they have to learn Spanish too? Jesus Christ, I, I just learned English to come here for the movies. Now I got to learn Spanish too? How about uh, <laughs> the Brazilians? They speak Oh, I mean Portuguese. They don't speak Spanish. Are we going to disrespect them? That's not fair. How about the Germans? Respect them? That's not fair. How about the French? That's not fair. How about the Polish? Not fair. Not fair. They don't care. Well, there's 19% of the population. Is it that much of the population? Are Hispanics really 19% of the population? Uh, I don't know. Are they? Right now? On, uh, or do Spanish people, or 19% of the population speak Spanish? Or 19 people of the, uh, the... How much people, how many people in this country don't speak English? Probably a fair amount, but really that high of a percentage? No. And how many of them really care? But oh, I can't see this movie because, you know, I mean, it, uh, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You're making a movie in the United States, and the filmmaker's in American, and he's making a movie in Spanish and English, and he's not putting English subtitles in there because he doesn't want to give English more power than Spanish. That's really all I have to say, and I think everybody can make up their own mind. And I hope I'm not sounding too rough here, but... Again, I love Steven Spielberg. I love a lot of his movies. I think he's a genius filmmaker. One of the best filmmakers to come out in the last 40, 50 years. Definitely, without a doubt. But this was a fucking dumb decision. Trying to be woke by making up new woke points that nobody was thinking was woke or not woke. That's what Steven Spielberg is doing here. I'm going to not... Out of respect for Spanish, I'm not going to have English subtitles. I think he just he made it up. When he was making a movie, he goes, ah, how about I shut the lights off to the, you know, in that plane too, when they're going to land the plane. And he goes, hmm, how about I don't put the one-way lights on? They wouldn't be expecting that. <laughs> like, just making up shit. Like, why would you even think that? Because it's a stupid fucking movie, that's why. Uh, funny, but stupid. This is um, ridiculously ridiculous, 
not funny and very stupid. And that's all I got to say about that. Anyway, this is J.P. Alexander for the Robert Dogs Unleashed. And until the next time, ciao.